Swanny's my man. Vinfilia remains adrift in the turbulent sea of thought. Vinfilia is a thought. What? Who said that? Nobody. Oh, I'm sorry. I was stuck in my own head again. It's clear that Magnus has no intention of helping us, but perhaps we should ask the other residents. They may be, they may know something of the trolley. I'll take the north side of the town. Let me know if you learn anything. She is becoming quite the leader. Thank Red. Art thou truly content to send witness to fate's course and take no part? This isn't a matter of fate, Oriange. It's about choice, and I've had years to decide where to where I stand. Infilia has spent too long in the chains already. I would not shackle her again by making my hopes known. It is for her to choose what shape her destiny will take. It is for me to stay silent, to protect her, teach her, and stand by her. That, at least, I can do for her. So be it. Come, let's make your own inquiries. That on top. Shiny, shiny stuff. Ah, it is a uh, thing, Jake. Yeah, yeah, that, you know what I mean. What am I supposed to do with these vistas anyway? See, I'm. You have arrived at a vista. What do I do now? What do I actually do with these vistas? I'm so annoyed by these vistas. I don't actually know what to do. Is there like a book or something I have to sign? Spell book. Uh, doesn't look like there's a spell book of sorts. Key items? No, not quite. Nope, not this. Signs. What signs? Oh my. What? I didn't, I didn't know there was a sign like this before. Oh, see? This is where people are doing all this stuff that I didn't know about. <gasps> Whoa! What? Oh my. Oh, this is so stupid. Why did I know this? There's so much I haven't explored. What about this? Oh, that's his map. Shared fate. Oh, what? Oh, I'm so silly. Logs. Is this it? Little vista sightseeing log. What do I do? Oh no, I've been here before, I think. Storm blood. Shadow bringers. Where I am. Time wasted. Do I see anybody? Aha, Jarek, my man. Oh, there you are. You'll be pleased to know that I got our friend back home with no trouble, and he's just fine. He's just a bit shaken up, as all. And you? Why did Magnus? What did Magnus have to say? Nothing. Ah. <sighs> I did have a faint hope that your need might prompt him to action where our interest has not, but I suppose that was foolish of me. I'm sorry that we couldn't be of help though. I could at least show you the trolley car we have here if you like. You could give it a stroke or two. It has ve some very smooth wood. Okay. You mean to say you're not giving up? Even knowing that Magnus is... Magnus? I don't see much point in your being stubborn about it, though perhaps stubbornness is exactly what this situation calls for. Can't forge iron without an anvil after all. 
I can't imagine that anything you try will work, but if you're certain, you can help me make preparations in the event that it does. To that end, take this toolbox. We're going to inspect the rails. I'll have a look around the tracks for anything that's in need of repair. You bring the tools and be ready to hand them to me whenever I stop to work. Finally, we can do some repairing of the track. Do I need to go on the track? Yes, I do. What do I need? It's, a bit, it's a bit high here, my friend. I'm gonna add right this place up. Why aren't we funding this thing? Oh, two, my baby. There is a cutscene of sorts. Do I have to speak with Jarek? This spot looks like it could use a bit of work. Can you ready the tools for me? How do I ready the tools for it? What do I have? Do I have like an item somewhere? Aha! Use. Make our way now to the other end of the track. What will he require on this side? Jarek. I'm a bit concerned about this lantern post. Would you ready the tools for me?
take down some disturbed vultures. Nearly fell off the track there. Tiny nest, and the vulture is going to be huge. What did I say? Well, actually, no, it's not too bad. Whoa, 72 with the auto attack, that's pretty impressive. And that just shows how weak my normal attacks are. Okay, so I've got something. That's magic damage. Okay, damage. Yeah. Not too bad the damage on this. Tell me that's the last one. Is that it? Maybe I'm gonna. Aha. Didn't realize I was going the wrong way. Me so cool riding it the other way around. Mm. 
Where's Jerick? Jerick? Jerick, where are you? Oh, there's some. Oh, he's right there. Thank you. That should be everything taken care of. In return for your help, I'll tell you a bit more about the trolley. Nothing that can get it started again. Though, as I said, the only people who knew how to repair the talos are long gone. When they left, the life began to bleed out of the town, the trolley's tracks rusted and his cars fell into disrepair. Now, I was born in Twine, raised there. My first words was, trolley, damn it. And those were the worst years of my life. But then, about seven years passed, Magnus and his wife returned to us. Magnus is a real proper trolley engineer and perhaps he would never have left in the first place if it hadn't been for his son. As you're well aware, Am Arang is hardly the safest place and Magnus wanted his child to draw away from the dangers. It didn't help in the end. The sea eaters got the boy. Isn't that always the way? The child had always said that someday he wanted to see Magnus's trolley running again. So in his memory, they returned to Twine, starting fixing those rusted rails and broken cars, and it was going well for a time. <laughs> Wicked white vultures! Are they back for vengeance? Never mind, I don't want to find out. Ahem, nice work out there. And now you know the story of the trolley. Won't do you much good without the talos though. If there was even a single one of that that functioned, things might be different, but well, here we are. 